Welcome to the introduction of the SIS plugin. SIS stands for Sequence Stratigraphic Interpretation System. This module increases our understanding of depositional systems and helps to find stratigraphic traps. SIS is an add-on to HorizonCube plugin, OpenDTEC's global seismic interpretation system. The plugin utilizes the HorizonCube's dense set of horizons to interpret systems, tracks, and to flatten seismic data. That kind of flattening is called a Wheeler transformation. In the Wheeler domain, you can see more stratigraphic details as you slice through geologic time. Shifts of depositional centers over geologic time are more easily recognizable in Wheeler space, which facilitates the interpretation of systems tracks. This example is from the F3 block offshore the Netherlands. The interval of interest is a prograding deltaic sequence of tertiary age. At the top, we see a seismic line in the normal structural domain. Overlain are the horizon intersections from a 3D horizon cube. Each colored line is a 3D horizon and represents a relative geologic timeline. The Wheeler scene below shows the flattened seismic data. The vertical axis in this display is relative geologic time. We now overlay the horizons from the horizon cube. In this display, horizons are blanked out in areas where they converge. This occurs along unconformities and condensed sections. We can now see how the depositional centre shifted over relative geologic time, going first towards the land side on the right, then towards the basin side on the left, then back towards the land, and so on. Recognising such cyclic patterns is very useful in systems tracks interpretation. Now, we use the horizon cube slider to break down the interval of interest into a number of stratal packages. Where we observe a change in seismic stacking pattern, a boundary is set in the interpretation column. The seismic interpreter then makes the call about the system's tract that is to be assigned to each stratal package. In this case, the interpreter defines this package as a transgressive system's tract. Because this is called a transgression, the software knows there must be a maximum flooding surface on top and it knows that the base level was rising during this period. So, as we continue the interpretation, the software automatically reconstructs the base level curve. All important boundaries, such as the sequence boundary, the top of the high stand systems tract and the maximum flooding surface are marked by the software and can be saved as conventional horizons in OpenDetect for further work. At the end of such an interpretation, we have subdivided the interval of interest into a number of systems tracks, which look like this. As this is a 3D horizon cube, the interpreted systems tracks are stratal packages in three dimensions. For more information, or to request a demo license, please contact DGB Earth Sciences at info at dgbes.com. Thank you for your attention.